I, I said, am I making sense? And he looks at me and goes, uh, uh, not really, man. Not really. I'm sorry. I'm like, all right. Say, so let me try again. Hi, everybody. Well, the other day you saw the video of my log splitter hydraulic hose failure. So today what I intend to do is remove the hose and the fittings and take them down to the hydraulic shop and get them to make me a new proper hose with JIC fittings. So that's the plan. We'll get started here. For years and years, well, since this log splitter was new, this hose has been on this fitting, which is a barbed fitting, the whole time, and it was fine. The other day, it decided, hey, today's the day, we're going to blow right off of there. <laughs> so it made a huge mess all over me and all over the ground here, which has to be cleaned up. But anyway, I'm done fooling with this thing. I can't get, the hose will not stay on that barb fitting anymore. I don't know why. I think maybe the hose has become soggy inside, soft. Um, that happens periodically when you have oil and rubber. And this is supposed to be an oil type hose, but who knows, maybe it just uh, isn't happy anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these fittings see if I can do this without unscrewing the entire I know it's gonna happen oh, boy maybe not All right, so the hose is pretty well drained out at this point get out of the way let's see if we can get this fitting off of here Okay, you are really on there. All right, I have to go get a larger persuader for this. In the meantime, let me take this, the hose off up here. It's getting, it was getting dry rotted anyway from being out in the weather. So it was time to replace it. But still, it wasn't time to shoot hydraulic oil all over me. All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a, I guess it just got soggy and. Who knows what? So let's hang that like that. It's already dripped all over the ground here. It's not dripping anymore. Let me see if I can get this fitting off with this. fine. So when you take hoses to the hydraulic shop, clean them out. Don't show up at their door with hydraulic hoses that are full of oil and crap. Those guys don't want to deal with that. They want to take your stuff, make up new things, and be done with it. They don't want to clean up your nasty oily mess. So do them a favor, do yourself a favor, because that'll, that'll make them uh, happy when you do that. Okay, down to the shop to get some proper tools for the other fitting. All right, so I grabbed a inch and 1 16th socket and a half inch ratchet. See if we can make this thing come off of here. There we go was in there. That was really in there. Okay. Stuff the uh, stuff that with some 
of a rag. There's my fittings. We're going to go down to the hydraulic shop and hopefully they can convert these to JIC. I really hope. We'll be back later. Three hours later. All right, so I need to go on a brief rant here about customer service and I don't know, just things in general here. Mostly about customer service. All right, so I go to the hydraulic shop and I lay the hose on the on the counter. So here's the hose fitting there, fitting there. And I said, "All right, what I'm doing is I'm converting this to a JIC hose." So I want a JIC fitting here and JIC fitting here and this one and this one need to be JIC fittings to match. Now, I thought I was pretty clear about that. And this guy looks at me like I'm from the planet Beetlejuice in Zeta Reticuli. I, I said, am I making sense? And he looks at me and goes, uh, uh, not really, man. Not really. I'm sorry. I'm like, all right. Say, so let me try again. So I said, this fitting needs to be JIC. And he takes it and he goes like this. And he says, well, that's not JIC. I'm like, that's pipe thread. That's NPT. He goes, well, let's go over to the wall chart and, and maybe you can point it out to me. <laughs> So I walk over to the wall chart and I and I say this one and this one and I guess the light bulb went off and he goes oh okay so he goes and rustles around for a little while and comes up with the proper fittings to replace this and this. I'm like, great. I said, now put JIC fittings on the end of a brand new hose to match this. To match this and this. I was thinking I was being pretty clear about that too. So he goes off and rustles around a little bit and then uh, comes back with a handful of fittings and pieces and parts and uh, he's like I don't have any more three-quarter inch fittings so I said how can you not have three-quarter inch fittings I said it's like one of the most common sizes for hydraulic hoses oh I'm sorry we're out of stock Okay, now, I have been to this same establishment numerous times, and more often than not, when I need something, they are out of stock. I've been to this place, I don't know, six, seven, eight times maybe, I don't know, I lost count. And they never have exactly what I need. And then they come, on, come along with like a bunch of adapters and crazy shit and I'm like no 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 let's not get too out of whack here it's like this is this should be common stuff I'm done with them I am absolutely finished with them I'm not going there anymore so so that trip was wasted I drive oh 40 miles in the opposite direction to another hydraulic supplier and he had the hose made in like five minutes it was done no questions asked and I was out of there very nice guy by the way anyway that's it I just had to blow off some steam now we get to reinstall the hose thanks for listening to my rant oh and Thomas the turkey says you know I agree with you a hundred percent Don't you, Thomas?
What? <laughs> ah! Don't do that. <laughs> he, he thinks he's going to eat the microphone. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're back at the log splitter. I'm going to get this hose installed. But only after I had to separate Mauser and Thomas the turkey. Because they got into a little fight. Actually, the turkey instigates it. He chases after the dog. <laughs> and as soon as the dog starts barking at him, it's on. <laughs> it's pretty comical. Anyway, here we go. So I'm going to use yellow gas line tape on this. I do that just because it's a little bit thicker. This is because this is hydraulics you want to make sure that you put the tape on properly. Now what I mean by that is you want to not you don't want to cover about the last two or three threads because what will happen is you run the potential of getting the tape into your hydraulic system. So as long as you don't do those last couple threads, you, you should be okay. So this should thread in here. Leave that's inch and eighth. This is just a return line. It doesn't need the death grip on there. Take this out. And we do the same to this one. I can get just a little more right there. Okay, now I'm going to put the hose back on. So this hose now has JIC fittings. So we're not going to blow off anymore. Okay, so I was mistaken. This has to turn 90 degrees this way. I'm not going to make it around again. So hopefully that doesn't cause it to leak. It shouldn't. It's in there pretty good. Guess we'll find out though. That's the way it ought to be. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. There, now we can get back to operation. Hose. Seems a little twisted. Let me see if I can make it. Let me see if I can make it feel a little better here.
There we go. That's better. It's had a little bit of strain on it from the way I had it on there. You don't want any strain on it, any undue strain anyway. Okay, there. All right, we're going to give it a real quick run. Just operate up and down a few times just to make sure there's no leaks. Then I'm going to have to refill my hydraulic oil. Thanks for watching my repair video. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I have almost 90 videos available to watch, and we'll see you later.